welcome back to my channel my name is Jen and I'm here today to show you another wig that I got from the Beauty Nook um, so it's not really gonna be a wig review but we're gonna do a wig unboxing and try on and hopefully not keep you here too long <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm wearing now this is Zara by John Renault and this wig I'm not kidding it's like about a year old <laughs> I wear it every single day um, I've kind of straightened it out a few times and she's just about on her last leg. A year for a synthetic wig's pretty long, but I've tried to take decent care of it and it's in the color Palm Springs Blonde, so just in case you wanted to know. And um, so Beauty Nook is a wig company and they do live sales on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you download the app, go to your, you can download it for iPhone or Android and Leanne does live wig sales so you can see wigs on, on someone which is very, very helpful and she has a lot of great specials. And also there is a Facebook group and an Instagram page. I'll link all of that below. I also have a referral code which I'll put up. So if you've never ordered from them, you can get 35% off your first order, which is quite a good savings for wigs. Um, so I'll leave all that information below so you can get, you know, if you want to see what they have for sale. I've been ordering wigs quite a few years now and I haven't found anywhere that has a better price and it's all name brand wigs. It's not, you know, unbranded horrible wigs. It's medical grade, really good name brand wigs like John Renault, Gabor, Beltres, all the greats. So today though we are going to take a look at a Gabor wig. This is my first Gabor wig and it is the wig called Simply Flawless and it is in the color GL 1422 which is sandy blonde. It is not rooted. There is a GL 1422 SS. It's like a shadow shade I believe. But, um, I didn't get that one. <laughs> I don't know if it was on the, I don't know if it was on there as a option. I don't remember. I felt like I couldn't find any, uh, shadow shade or rooted colors for the style. I'm sure there is some, but I didn't see it on there. But anyways, so I got it in GL1422. Let's just take a look at this wig out of the box. And this is what it looks like. And that's a pretty good representation of the color. It's a very light, it's very, very light pale gold blonde. And there's some other gold blonde kind of running through it. And here's the cap. It's got um, felt lined ear tabs. And it actually has a Velcro adjuster, which I love the Velcro better than the bra strap. And this is like felt covered too. Um, and it has the Velcro straps. And then the cap is a left side mono part. And then um, usually there's some permatees right in here, but it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of permatees in this, if any. Um, I don't think there is, so I'm gonna shake it out a little bit. And there is a picture of the color. It is very light and golden-ish. Um, I'm usually, I'm usually, I usually go for a more cool toned wig, but you know, it's kind of summertime and I wanted to try a few different styles, so there is a lace front. It looks really nice. That's a pretty good representation of the color right there. It's a very, like, light pale gold blonde and then, like, a medium gold blonde. Um, I will probably take a root spray to this. I use the Dark Blonde L'Oreal Root Spray, and I have a video up. If you go through my videos, um, I show you how I root my wigs. So if you're interested in that, you can maybe find that, that video or I'll link it below because I will probably definitely root this. I feel by the coloring, I'm probably going to have to to make it look right on me. So I'm just going to, it's a very layered kind of long style. It's not super long. The full length on this is only like 12, it's only like 12 inches in the back. Um, but it's very light density. It feels really light. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. Let me take this off. I've had her on all, all day long, that per poor girl. She sits with me at work all day, poor Zara. So inside of the cap, a lot of wefting in the back, which is great for summer. Again, there's that left side mono part and lace front. And there is some like highlighting around the front, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, and this is a Gabor Simply Flawless. And let's just see here. I like that there's Velcro adjusters. I prefer the Velcro adjusters over the um, bra strap adjusters. And I have this tightened down pretty good. Uh, yeah, 
this fits really well. This fits my head very, very well. Let me, let me to put this up a little bit because I feel like I'm maybe sitting too close to the camera. So this is kind of what she looks like right, right out of the box. Let me make sure I got the lace front lay in there, yeah. These ear tabs, now my head circumference is 21.75 inches and um, I'm 11 inches from ear to ear. And the ear tabs do not rest on my ears. In fact, they sit kind of up above. That's not very often does that happen to me where I have ear tabs that kind of sit above my ears. One thing I like to do is I like to go in and kind of pull this hair kind of down and out. If it's like, you know, kind of rough it up around there. I'm not really rough it up, but you know what I mean. It's really pretty. Um, this is going to be a great summer wig. It's a very light density on it, and it feels really light. Like, it's ve it feels very light. Um, I will probably... There's a few things I'll probably do to this if I'm going to wear it. I'll probably root it, for one thing. And I don't know where this hair kind of wants to go. I'll probably steam the top a little bit. I'll probably steam, like, this, this out of the way so that the lace front kind of shows there um but it's very pretty it's a really pretty just kind of light style um in case i didn't mention it which i feel like i did but the front here is like 10 inches the crown is 11 and a half inches and then the sides are 10 and the back is 12 and a half so but it feels very very light and of course i got some flyaways going here but let me bring in just to kind of show you the lace front so that's the lace front right there Hope you can see it. It's very nice, very nice looking. But again, the, the colors kind of throw me off because normally I wear like a rooted color and it's not rooted, so it's kind of like, ooh, it looks different. It's just because I'm not used to wearing, I think it looks super natural. Like this would probably be my, you know, this was probably, I'm gonna use some, I'm gonna use some Aesthetica wig spray and just kind of spray it and move it because I want the, flyaways to stay out of my face. I can't stand when hair like gets in my face like that. So yeah, it's very pretty. If The cap fits me very, very well. Very well. So there's what she looks like. I think it's really pretty like right out of the box. I will definitely probably root this. If I root it, I might, I'll, I'll do a video if I root it because I don't have any root spray right now. I haven't had to root a wig because I've been buying rooted wigs for so long that I've <laughs> I probably just haven't bought any in a long time. So there she is, there's her length. It's very low density. So if you're new to, I feel like if you're new to wigs, and honestly that lace hairline looks really good. If you're new to wigs, this would be a great piece for you if you're not used to having a lot of hair because um, it's a very low density. So let me try and show you from the side and the back. That's what the back looks like. Hopefully you can see it. It's not very long. It's not a very long wig. It's 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 a good length though. I feel like it's very natural looking. Like I, I feel like nobody would know that this isn't my real hair. Um, especially if I had a root going on here, which I will. I am pretty sure I'll put a root in that because I'm just not used to seeing myself without a root. Like I feel like I have freshly colored hair, <laughs> you know, like freshly out of the salon dyed hair, but. Very, uh, very natural looking. I wanted to see if I can poof her up a little. I mean, I don't really like a whole lot, a huge lot of body. I'm actually quite happy with the density on it. Um, it just looks, I think it looks really cute. I really like it. I, I think this would be a great, like, summer wig. Like, if I'm out on the kayak, if, if we go kayaking this summer, or sitting at a concert in the sun, like, look how cute. I think it looks really cute. Like, you can tuck it behind your ear. Like, I think it looks super cute just like that. Like, just a little over-the-eye action going. Um, I wish I had, like, a... Oh, here's, like, a, um... Hair tie. I just want to see if I can do, like, a low pony with it. I feel like I can't... It, the density is very, very low on this. So, like, if we wanted to do a low pony, like, pull this out and do like a low ponytail. Like I wouldn't pull this much out, but this is just for the sake of doing it. It's just, that's all the hair that's in it right there. 
but you could you know easily pull off a low pony in this. There's just a little bit of hair in there. And of course it's so silky, it's fresh and new, so it's, you know, this didn't stick in it very well, and I don't really like these anyways. They seem to fall out of your hair. I think it looks really cute. I think this top needs a little bit of work. Um, maybe that or the, maybe the, maybe I just have it parted where it doesn't want to part at. I'm not sure. Like, it seems to kind of want to part right there. I feel like, um, see how there's like, um, highlights and stuff right there? Like, I feel like, um, it would look more natural if I darkened the root a little bit. Even with some... I could probably use a bronzing powder, to be honest. But this is just super easy to tuck behind the ears, even. Like, you tuck that behind an ear and, like, pull a little bit of hair out, maybe. It would look super cute. Yeah, I kind of feel like I need to just... Like, my ear tabs are sitting in the... Like, these ear tabs sit kind of above my ears, which is kind of nice because sometimes I'll get a wig and the ear, uh, you know, I I feel like I maybe have a smaller head than other people because sometimes the ear tabs will literally sit right on my ears and they hurt. They sit on my ears, you know, so these do not sit on my ears. In fact, they're like, they like sit like above my ears, like just a little bit, but I got really good coverage right here. They come, this comes forward, which is really nice. So, yeah, I would definitely tuck this. It looks really good tucked, I think. I think it looks really cute. I think it looks really cute, too, if I pull more hair to this side and kind of do that, like. It's very pretty. Very, very, very pretty wig. I would I would recommend this wig. Just even not wearing, I mean, it's, it's a straighter style, so I feel like um, if you had to steam the ends or run, you know, it, it, like refurbish if it gets frizzy on the ends I feel like you could easily refurbish this wig to make it silky silky looking again like very easily that's why I like straighter wigs I very much like straighter wigs because I feel like I can get them back to straight without too much effort but yeah yeah the um the lace front's really nice really nice on this it's a very much a wear and go type of style for sure very much so, but anyways, I just kind of wanted to show it to you like straight out of the box. I really like, the, uh, like, I almost want to pull this out of the way, but then I kind of like the when it lays in my eye, like, like right there. Like, it kind of looks kind of good when it does that, I think. I feel like I like that. Like, maybe if I put it behind my ear there. You know what I mean? Like, that looks really cute, too. So you can... See, I think it looks really really, really, you know, um, realistic. Definitely, I'm definitely gonna show you guys how I root my wigs. I have one video, but I'm probably gonna do this one. I know it'll look so much different rooted, but I think it looks really good. I think it looks really great. I'm very happy with this one. This is, again, it's Gabor, Simply Flawless by Gabor in the color GL1422. It's called Sandy Blonde. And she's a, she is golden. I will tell you that. She is a golden blonde. Definitely a golden blonde. Very warm with like lighter pale. But really cute. I really like this one. So <laughs> kind of just want to show it to you guys like straight out of the box. Um, if you're interested, please get a hold of Beauty Nook. They have the best prices. You know, if you got a little stimulus money hanging around, I got a hair in my mouth. I don't know where it's coming from, but that's what I did. I bought a couple wigs with my stimulus just because uh, I needed them very badly, so. And it is still, I don't know where it is. There it is, got it. But this is really cute. Very cute, got a lot of body to it, really like it. Well, anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you this video. So please leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will check back with you in about a month to see how this wig's holding up and let you know, or if I'm doing anything to it, or if I root it, I will show you a video on that too. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check below for the links to Beauty Nook and also my referral code in case you're wanting to buy a wig off of them. I highly recommend them, um, and Leanne's got great specials. And of course, download their app, and get on there on Friday night and watch live. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a good day.